Welcome to Life in the Pack. We are in a brand new shiny set, if you can see it. We are finally out of that tiny room, and but we are still broadcasting on ASU TV and Red Wolf Radio. We just have a new location with a lot more room and one brand new face. Mr. Nathan Hatler, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing okay. I know that you're just here to fill out your portfolio. Hey, man. I won't call you out on it for the rest of the show, I promise. Just as once. I'm going to get my one dig in right now. We Fair still enough. got Fielding Belk over here. Hey, he I got can, my last name right this I time. I can finally say it right casually. I don't have to think about it. And of course, you have me, Zach Rupel, still hosting it. Red Wolf Radio, I hope you are enjoying the shows we've been putting out as uh, our semester comes to a close. And ASU TV, I hope you've been enjoying, and I hope you will enjoy this new set. I know the front looks a little bare right now, but we've got a brand new logo coming. Don't worry, it'll be there before you know it, and this set will be finito. Now, before I integrate you two in this conversation, I'm going to take a moment and say that uh, you'll notice Robert Hobbs is not here today. He uh, is not here. He hadn't been here this whole week. He had a unfortunate passing in his family, and so he's in all of our thoughts, and so we ask that you keep him in your thoughts as well while they go through that, and he will be back soon enough. He knows that you guys can't wait to see him again on the show, and he wants to enjoy the set as well. But uh, in his job off camera, we have Ethan, so thank you, Ethan, for helping us out very much. Well, I'll make sure that they know that you're putting in the hard work over there as you stare back into my very soul. <laughs> but now to you guys. Thanksgiving break's coming up. That's the big thing on everyone's mind right now. We are a week away from it right now as we're filming. As this goes out, we will be enjoying Thanksgiving dinner and filling our faces. So, uh, Nathan, this is kind of the tradition when a new guy enters the room. Fielding had to go through this. Is uh, We grill him the hardest, and we grill him first. So uh, tell, us what, tell us what your Thanksgiving plans are. Okay, well, Thanksgiving, I'm actually going to Disney World. Wow. Uh, as soon as the football game is over this Saturday, we're going straight to Orlando, Florida. Well, that's exactly what I think of when I think Thanksgiving. So when someone says, Mickey hey, Mouse, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to do for Thanksgiving? I'm like, I want to go to Disney World for yeah. Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> Who how doesn't, are, yeah. How are the Thanksgiving dinners in Disney World? Have you heard anything about them? All the food there is amazing. A bit expensive, but it's oh, worth yeah. it, I think. It's, it's an amusement park. They got you trapped. Yeah, Why it's not? never. The food's okay. never bad, though. food's very, very good, though. That's and true. they actually, believe it or not, the restaurants there, if it's like German food or Japanese food, they actually have people from Germany, like actual Germans or actual Japanese, to cook the food for you. Wow. It's like very authentic. I didn't know that. I have been to Disney World one time. The food is really good. Favorite meal I had was breakfast in the Princess Castle, and I think is Epcot is where that park that that's in. I'm not sure. Either that or the Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Magic Ellen. Kingdom? Ethan's nodding at me saying it's Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. In fact, expert. Yeah, but that was some good breakfast up in the Princess Castle. It was. Fielding, have you been to Disney World? Long, long time ago when oh, I was a, a, wee, a wee lad. Yeah? Uh, no how, doubt. how old were you when you went? Six. Five or six. So you like, what did you do? What did you do at Disney World? There, to there wasn't a ton, actually, because everyone's like, yeah, I rode Space Mountain and all this. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not sure if Space Mountain was there when I went, but I don't know. I, I don't imagine it was it. probably there when you went, I just but was you were probably a little too short to ride any of those yeah, rides. I Although, participated. Sorry. have you been to Disney World before? The first time was in high school, okay. and I've been three times all within the like past few years. Yeah, so have, have you ridden Space Mountain? Yeah, of course. Okay. plenty of times. Yeah. So you will back me up when I say this, and that there really shouldn't be a height requirement on Space Mountain because that roller coaster is jam-packed tight in that little building. It's that that coaster is very odd. I actually saw a video on YouTube where they turn all the, yeah, lights, the lights on in the building, on. and it's I've actually not going that fast. They just have all these fans and jets like blowing at you, so it feels yeah. like you're going really fast. And all the tracks are like really close together. Like you don't realize it because it's so dark in there. Yeah. But you're going through there at some points, and some dude's going like right over the top of your head. Easily wow. one of my favorite rides. Oh, it's and really good, but man, it's scary. When wow. I went to Disney World the first time, uh, we I had never ridden a roller coaster before. I was like, I don't know, nine or ten. I was just tall enough because I was a taller kid to like ride most of the rides. And so I, uh, they were like, all right, we're going to get you on a roller coaster. We're going to get you to go on. First roller coaster we ride is rock and roller coaster. And so every memory. Okay, so right. Looking back at it now, probably a good choice. I'd probably ride it again. But then as a nine or ten-year-old kid never having ridden a roller coaster before, my only memory of a roller coaster, like knowledge of what it would be like, is you get going, then you go up a hill, and then you crest the hill, and then you go down and go. Rock and roller coaster is not designed that way. You just zoom, yeah, just you gone. take off. And so I'm sitting in the front seat with my dad, mm -hmm. 
and uh, he's talking to me, and I don't know if this was just part of his evil master plan to just keep me distracted until it started, but we're just talking, talking about what we're going to do later in the day, talking about what we're going to do after we ride this. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, you just hear like that little twinge of the music start to play, <laughs> gone. And so my no head warning. was pinned to the back of the chair the whole time. It was awful, and I'm amazed that that's one of those stories you tell, and then people never ride a roller coaster again, but apparently I was either just too dumb or too hyped up on adrenaline to realize that and so I just kept riding all the other ones over and over again. The first roller coaster I've ever been on was in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where I was I was born there and there was this place called the Adventure Dome. Yeah. And it's an indoor amusement park and there's a roller coaster that goes around the whole place. Well I was I, I was less than eight. So I was probably six, seven or eight years old. I got in, you know, get strapped yeah. down, never been on there, didn't know what it was like, and then it starts to move. And I can't <laughs> I can't push up on it. I'm like I want to get off. Like, <laughs> I don't like being held out. I want to get off right now. And my dad's oh, sitting next to me, and my sisters are behind me or in front of me, and they're cracking up. And it starts to go up, and I'm like, I don't like this at all. I don't like, get me off, get me off. And then as it's going over that hill, I just see this just, just entire place where I'm about to just oh, go around. I saw your, I'm saw your screaming, light like, flash before your eyes. And you know, they, have the, they have the camera sitting there with the flash. <laughs> I, didn't know there, I didn't know it was a camera. So as it's going down, you, the, you look at the picture, it's just straight fear <laughs> in my eyes just ah, just freaking out and oh then as soon Lord. as it as soon as it finished though i sat there and i was like i want to do that again nice like that was let's do it again the birth of an adrenaline oh, was, oh yeah. yeah feeling what was your first roller coaster yeah. man i can't remember my first roller coaster the one that i can remember the most this one was actually at disney if i remember correctly yeah. it was like tony hawk's something and it oh, was man. like it was a really basic one but you get in it and the cart spins in circles while it goes around the track that was the first one. It was really basic. But while y'all were talking about that, the rock and roller coaster, I don't know if it's the same kind of deal, but the one that I remember, you you sit down and you pick the song, like Black Eyed Peas oh, I or don't whatever. Think I got to pick a song. That's cool. But yeah, they, yeah, there's like a little screen and you can pick your song. It's either Black Eyed Peas or like, you know, ACDC or something. Black Eyed Peas is the first thing you think of. That's what it like was. Rock and uh, roller yeah. coaster. Yeah. yeah. This one was, Black this Eyed one's Peas. at Universal, though. And that's why. Yeah. Universal. Come on. My dad and I were sitting in the front. And it, you go out of the terminal, and it instantly goes up vertically, like straight up. So you're laying back all your weights back on the seat. And then when you get to the top, it goes backwards oh and Lord. then over. So you're, uh, you're about upside like down. Yeah. yeah. So my dad didn't even know that it went backwards like that. And so before we crest the top, he goes, oh, God. And we go <laughs> over the top. And it's, it was really fun. It's super fun. But that's just, that's just what sticks out to me oh, when I think man. of roller coasters. And I'm amazed, even without, like, Robert here in our normal crowd, we still managed to get sidetracked super easy. Because that started with Thanksgiving, and Nathan came out of nowhere yeah, with, with the, uh, Disney. I'm going to Disney. Well, Thanks. roller I should, coasters. I should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, you asked me about my Thanksgiving plans. Yeah. Um, I'm proposing, actually. Whoa. 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 I probably should have Whoa. started out with that. Wow. But. Whoa. Who's, who's the lucky gal? What a roller Nathan? coaster, huh? Who's the lucky gal? That's right. Uh, I feel like I need to take a drink. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> take a couple shots. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what's in here. It's 100% water. I it promise. is. I, I saw him pour it in there. Oh my lord! You're gonna get us in trouble, Nathan. Um, <laughs> so Haley. proposing. Oh my goodness. Her name is Haley. That's a big boy move. Yeah, a little that's, bit. We've talked a lot about you know big boy, big boy things, big boy things. But that big, is that yeah. is the biggest boy thing. Yeah. The biggest been jump into up. adulthood so far yeah. is proposing. My goodness. So, yeah. I got I, over the weekend. I made a, a seashell. Well, we found a, my dad found a couple of seashells on Orange Beach, and oh, took them back. Adorable. Yeah, man. And we, we, I found a couple that looked perfectly matched. Yeah. We took them outside of the shop. We cleaned them off. We buffered them. We polished them, and then we went back inside and we made a leather hinge. I say we, oh. but really my dad. Yeah. I'm not handy as my dad. He yeah, can take I've done the car that before either. Like I made I made this sign, but my dad made most of the sign while I was here. So. I made it, but my dad made it. Yeah. Yeah. But I was there to help. I, yeah. I was there. He uh, so yeah, leather hinge. And the top of it is this dark blue velvet, and the cool. bottom is leather. And there's a little bitty pouch that we glued on there. That's the ring's gonna go. So as I'm, you know, been on one knee, I'm gonna boop, pop it open, and there it is, gonna be so like a pearl. I'm guessing you plan to do this somewhere around like uh, Ariel under the sea, Nemo. In, in front of right? the castle. Her favorite princess Guaranteed. is Ariel. Mm. So, so she, of course, Ariel's seashell. in my top three of princesses. <laughs> top ten easily. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to. We're actually going to this place called the top of top of the world. And I think it's in Ma Magic Kingdom, but only Maybe. people who work there can get in. 
but we have I'm a friend who can get in. Well, there's a, we have a friend who can get in. Oh, five see. people, and that's me, her, her best friend, her, her parents. Nice. And we have a designated camera guy that will be there to cool. capture it all. So that's all, awesome. All the fireworks will go off, and then I'll pop the question. And then oh, my God. Oh, that's so cool. This is going to be amazing. Wow. He's outdone every man that's ever thought about proposing in the next few few weeks. Yeah, congratulations. Like, well, crap, I'm never going to beat that. <laughs> it's all downhill from there, but, you know. Whatever. Well, uh, Haller, <laughs> or not Haller, uh, Fielding? Yeah. What are you Thanksgiving plans? I mean, not that you can top that. I I'm actually, uh, I'm I mean, actually. Your girlfriend would be in for some news if you came out with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm but. hopping on the SpaceX uh, flight oh, to really? the moon. That's yeah, awesome. Wrote, yeah, so I don't, I didn't mean to one up you there, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, How am I gonna top that? seashell Just versus spaceship? Yeah, man. no, for real though. I'm heading home, spending some quality time with family. Yeah. Home in uh, Memphis, right? Carryville, yeah, Memphis. Memphis. Everyone that lives. 20 to 30 minutes outside of Memphis, if they say Memphis, because nobody knows the towns around Memphis. All right. So I'm not from Memphis. All right. I'm sorry. But I, I say, but I I say, say I am. Again. No, I, I say I am. Again. When people ask, I don't feel like going through, yeah, I'm from Collierville. It's like, where? <laughs> oh, just Memphis, yeah. Memphis. Because if you're around here in Arkansas, everybody knows where, like, you know, Wynn or, you know, everybody knows, obviously, Jonesboro. Wait, did you say a town there? Is Wynn a town? Where? Wynn, Arkansas? Who? Wynn? Wynn. What? Okay, I see what you're doing there. Don't make me mad. I hadn't heard <coughs> a win. I know there are some small towns. Anyway, yeah. This side of the state confuses me. But yeah, going home, spending some time with family, having dinner at my house, cooking a big old turkey with all the dressings. Gobble, and, gobble. Yeah. Gobble, gobble. Uh, now, uh, this, we brought this up, right? What? You call it dressing or stuffing? I mean, both. I mean, we haven't talked about this. We talked about her, she, or her, she's. Have we not talked about this? I feel like me and Robert have had this debate so many times. It cheese had dip. to be on this show. Cheese dipper No, Rotella. we're not bringing that back. That's, that's I wasn't even a past. part of it. I was. I just heard Staying about it. But yeah, what, what's the new one? Dressing or, 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 well, is or it, stuffing? Stuffing. Comes, is it dressing or stuffing? Well, when I said like all the dressings, I meant like you know. Well, I know what you're you meant, gonna have I the potatoes and the green beans and then everything. But and you're gonna have the dressing, dressing or stuffing. Yeah. But what do you call it? Stuffing. Food. It's all food. Y'all mix it up. Just it's all go one place anyway. Well, that's the end all be all question, isn't it? So you're just gonna having a good family Thanksgiving. Yeah, good little together? family Thanksgiving. Cramming for some tests because yeah, for your nursing major, right? No, 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 <laughs> Zach. Exercise hey, science. Those are your words. They were. Mine. I said it's like nursing, but not. I understand. It's easier. Not. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's my plans as well. Is I'm just heading out. I'm not uh heading. To Fort Smith for mine because uh, I'll spend my Thanksgiving with my dad's family in Knoxville and Tennessee. So I'll drive past you and uh, yep. head all the way to the other side of the state. That's a long drive. That is a long drive. I wish drive. my family lived closer together. <laughs> my Lord. But we'll probably go over there, probably watch some football, watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. Come on. I bet Disney has its own parade that you can attend to if you're not too busy proposing or anything. Every 30 minutes is the parade going by. Oh, yeah. And it's. They do an amazing job every time because uh-huh. they know that there are some people there who will probably only be there for one day yeah. or is the first time and last time seeing it. So they got to make yeah. sure it's the best parade no every time. And I they do a great job every time. Something that is awesome now about Disney World is back when I went, they didn't own Star Wars yet. So we timed our trip with Star Wars Weekend. Mm-hmm. And now it's just you can just go in Star Wars all the time. So they no one's going to get the thrill of trying to plan Star Wars. Star Wars and Marvel. They just opened Everything. up Toy Story Land. And I, haven't, I haven't been there yet, but I'll be able well, to go there say, next time. Do they have a Cars out there in Florida, or is that in the uh, California they, land? Oh, California has one. I don't think – Florida does not have one. But, yeah, you, it was very – it was really cool. It was just this entire strip from Route 66 – yeah. Off of cars, and it was like movie. life. It was life, or you know, up to scale, one to one scale. Yeah, it was the coolest thing ever. All, all of a sudden, I did not expect this. Tom Ader just drives up, <laughs> <laughs> and it looked real. And I was like, the bumper was like talking, the eyes were blinking. I was like, is somebody in there? Is someone controlling that? Like, what oh on my earth? Goodness. I bet you there's cool. probably someone was. There had to be, right? I don't. It, Tom Ader, he was driving. That was actually him. That was him. They actually just uh, built the actual car and had him there yeah, yeah. for you. The same one that starred in the movie, yeah. Man. Uh, Multiple so movies. Speaking of Toy Before Story. Speaking one. of Toy Story, they're making a fourth one. I know I saw that teaser trailer. It seemed like the like all the teaser trailers for like the next few movies come out at the exact same time. Like they coordinate it because Toy Story 4's came out. There's been a teaser popping up for like some new horror movie that's supposed to come out. I can't remember the name of the first teaser I watched, the first trailer I watched though. It was for some movie I was excited about, but I cannot remember for the life of me. Was it animated? What it was. was it Disney? A Disney horror movie? I don't yeah, think it was. If Disney ever made a horror movie, what a leap would that be for their marketing? All, all I know is I want John Krasinski to be a part of it because uh, Quiet Place was 
top notch. I still have not seen that movie. It makes uh, me mad. I know I need to see it. So I don't want to spoil it, but it was. Don't spoil it. I won't. Well Be worth. Quiet about well it. worth. <laughs> it spoils it the first like minute of the movie. Doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Like really? the first within the first ten <laughs> minutes. <laughs> no, the boom. like it's the first. It's the first scene. There's the first thing that you. Oh, see. Are you talking about the setting? Or like. I can't say it, or it'll ruin it. Don't say it. Just we'll just leave it. Leave that. We'll, we'll back. talk. They about explain it, you know, what what what's happening at the very beginning. Well, and I kind of understand like the whole premise because yeah. I probably didn't do a very good job shielding myself from spoilers at the start. So I kind of understand the premise of the movie. No, I'm thinking of something else. I'm not thinking of a Quiet Place because well, Quiet Place is the of, dude then? from the Office, right? Yeah, yes. John Krasinski. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, him. Anyway, I was thinking, um, what's the one? It's like the deaf. Marine and they they try to rob his house. It's like Hush or something. Oh, it's not oh. Hush. oh, Hush. Oh, Hush. Is it Hush? Uh, 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 don't speak. Don't sp- uh, Yeah, don't speak. The light speak. switch or something. Yeah, that was that was like the that. that was the logo yeah. at the beginning. Of the but movie. anyway, yeah. what, I, what I was saying is this that is a it, good movie it, too. It, yeah, it ruined. Have you seen it? I think I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it ruins Maybe. it because it came like out a while ago. yeah, the first scene of the movie is the last scene of the movie. Oh yeah, I kind of remember he, that yeah. about it. That's a cheap way to. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Can't think of an intro. Just put the beginning at the end, and we'll work towards it. Yeah. Speaking of spoilers, you have to be so careful about what you're watching online because if you go on YouTube, you're gonna be spoiled by every new movie coming out. The Avengers. Uh, 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 what was the last one called? Infinity. Infinity, Infinity War. War. I when I first heard the announcement, I stayed away from. Just, just I, shut off I, the I internet. Quit, nope. Done. Did not go on YouTube. Laptop. Not go on Facebook. Did not. Did not want to spoil myself. I had no idea what to expect. No idea what was going on. When I, y'all saw, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when I saw, oh, yeah. I was completely blown away. But jaw dropped throughout yeah. two thirds of the movie. Felt like. But well, yeah, your jaw th- drops initially. Then you realize none of those main characters are gonna be gone for. Yeah. But now I, I still have to be careful because there's another one, another one coming out, and apparently it's like the last chapter of this twenty or twenty something. I'm not sure series. if it's the last. I it's think supposed they're making a, four of it's, them. It's supposed to be like four hours long, though, which I'm excited for. Good cow. It's supposed they're to be long. Is there a built in? It's supposed to be one. Wow. Like three to four hours. I really hope there's a built in bathroom break in the middle. <laughs> <An> intermission. <laughs> An intermission. No kidding. Yeah. That's, Good lord. That's interesting. I didn't, they know people will watch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing with these new Marvel movies. Is it going to, like, how long do you think they're going to keep pushing it until they realize they've made a movie too long for people to physically just sit through? Well, first off, Disney owns Marvel, so they know that they have. Mm-hmm. They can just slap the Marvel sticker on a movie and like, ooh, I'm gonna go see that movie, and they they go watch yeah, it. Yeah, but how long of a movie can you make? Like, I feel Apparently like four, four hours. hours is pushing. They tweeted it, or there were some articles that tweeted like, uh, the new Avengers runtime is gonna be longer than ever, and people were commenting like, we don't care, ain't no problem. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna sit through it. If I gotta pee, I'm sitting. I'm not gonna oh leave. Oh my good lord. Because the one Avenger movie I did get up to go see, it was the first Avenger movie, and it was the one where Iron Man was fall. He was talking to Loki, and he jumped out of the building or got kicked out of the building in a suit came on him oh yeah yeah uh, as he was yeah. falling down and i got i got up and i missed that and i was like what i missed yeah. like, that was the coolest scene ever i'm like <laughs> it was a pretty cool what? scene <laughs> yeah man so, so but speaking about spoilers this reminded me uh when you were saying staying away from spoilers of uh infinity war uh had you ever seen the ones where like the dude said i don't feel so good and they're disappearing because i saw those before the movie how did you see those before the movie? Or like before I had seen it. Oh, Sorry. okay. So before okay. I had oh, seen the, it. The you memes or the clips? The, the memes. memes. Yeah, the memes. It's like it was like a reporter Star or Girl something. So good. Yeah. yeah, and they're yeah. they're disappearing. And one was actually Spider Man and I didn't realize that it was Spider Man or what was happening. Yeah. So I just looked at it and I was like, What's the fu- why is this funny? It's not funny. He's disappearing and he's then just saying I don't and, and then I was like, Yeah, that's it. That's that meme that I saw <laughs> that I didn't care about. But now I get it. And well, now yeah. I care about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah, like that was the thing with like uh, Infinity War coming out is because all this talk had been around with all these actors' contracts coming up. And they're like, all right, they're probably going to send some of these actors off. They're probably, they might kill a few off. They might just send a few off into the sunset or whatever, just not be a part of the Avengers. Kind of like what they did with Hawkeye, where he's supposed to be off with like his family or whatever, just out of the business or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's totally not because he couldn't match up against the rest of the lineup they'd introduced or anything. But they killed off all these characters. And they kill off these main ones. Well, yeah. So, like, they all evaporated. But then they're like, oh, yeah, we got a new Black Panther movie coming out. Oh, so he's not staying disintegrated forever. I got a new Spider-Man movie coming out. Oh, okay. So it takes away the whole heartbreak of that emotional moment. I really wish they didn't do that. They didn't announce the new movies. They because now I know for yeah. a fact that he's going to come back. So it's yeah. like, yeah. Well, yeah, because, like, especially if you're going to do something like that, you should not announce your future lineup. You yeah. should just let it come as it comes. And so, like, when you release that teaser for Black Panther 2, people are like, what? I think and it's already be... been a couple months where they've been sitting here thinking, Wakanda not so forever. And now he's back and ready to go. 
I mean, something, something like that, it's kind of hard to keep it silent because there's True. when they film, there's, you know, civilians everywhere. They're going to take photos, put on a Snapchat. They like, do do a hey, really good this, job yeah, of yeah, that, yeah. though, of keeping people out. But if I if like if I didn't know a movie was coming out and all of a sudden a teaser trailer popped up mm-hmm. on YouTube, I'm like, I didn't even know they were making this movie. Like that, Seriously. Yeah. That's the coolest. Like going to see a movie without seeing any trailers, without knowing what's going yeah. on at all, makes the movie so much better. Well, and there's this movie coming out that I th- I want to say a big like a big famous director is doing it. I've kind of lost his name. I want to say Spielberg's doing it, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. It's called uh, Angelica Battle Angel, I think something. Letter A name Battle Angel, and it's based off of oh, like. Oh, is that the one where she's like completely CGI? Yes. The whole time. Okay, that looked. I don't know. That I got very so odd. hyped for that movie. Like after I got past kind of the aesthetic for it and started just kind of looking at what it was, and then I kind of got into like some of the fight scenes that were shown in the uh, initial trailer they released. I was like, oh man, I, I might go see this movie. But now I haven't seen anything about it since. Oh, but I hope it's still this one. It's Alita. 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 Battle Angel. It's directed by, where'd the guy's name go? If it's Spielberg, that kind of concerns me because his last movie, Ready Player One, was I heard odd. wasn't too good. I think he just okay. tried to cram too much into it. There was a lot of pop culture a lot in the of movie. Co- I don't know how on earth they got all the crossover. They got the Iron Giant. They got... Yeah. Uh, uh, Man, YouTube got enough frenzy when that movie came out because all the fans from all those different genres came out and were like, what did you do to my favorite character and everything it was, it was, was like 80 percent of the movie was cgi i'm like how did they i don't know it was very odd did now i feel like any, this movie yeah did you find anything it's interesting robert rodriguez robert rodriguez what else did he do I don't movies know. i can look he's our resident, one second please I, our resident look up if expert. it was spielberg i would have been interested because that's that's two I heavily crafted cgi movies back to back i thought initially it was someone really like there's some big name guy attached mm-hmm. to it i'm fairly certain but, yeah, I got really excited for that movie. I get really excited for kind of the off movies. Like, Valerian kind of disappointed me because when it first came out, I was oh. thinking, what? <laughs> he did Spy Kids. The yeah, original I knew Spy, the original Spy, Kids. Spy Kids. Oh, I'm original seeing that. Spy yeah, that the original oh. Spy Kids is a joke. Oh, and Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> oh, Dude, now we got something going on. Oh, he did, okay. he did, uh, he did Predator, Predators, and then Spy Kids in yeah, 4D. He did all the Predator. This man's a legend. He did all the Predator movies. Kill then. Bill. Mm. Probably s- now I know directed. what to expect. Killed I'm not going to have my expectations so high, well, but now I'm going to go see it for a, fun. It's based on a, a manga series, I'm pretty sure. Manga series? Yeah, so I'm hoping it's pretty good, but, I mean, other than Marvel, I don't get hyped for a lot of movies anymore coming out of just anything because all you hear about it really is Marvel or something Disney's doing. So I find very little time Disney to get hyped everything. Yeah, Disney movies. does own scary, but everything. I think Quiet Place was the last movie that was like, original not associated with anything that i really got hyped for because there haven't been anything that's come out you know what movies i get hyped for what christopher nolan movies he directed the batman trilogy he directed inception the prestige Uh, technically it's the uh, the dark knight trilogy but dark okay sorry we won't won't hold that against you big of that okay tying this all together between dc marvel all that stuff yeah this totally off topic subject that we somehow got on started on thanksgiving there you go Oh, I, f- I mean, I'm going to be doing all this over Thanksgiving, thinking about it at Disney, so it kind of relates. Yeah, but you know, we come full circle. I man. fully believe, and this is a compliment towards Christopher Nolan, I fully believe Christopher Nolan ruined DC Comics. Because he made something so good. He made the Dark Knight trilogy, he made Batman so good. <laughs> he set the bar so high that it, it just can't be topped. Yeah. You got the, you know, Batman Begins, where he becomes Batman, and they got the Dark Knight with yeah. Joker, Heath Ledger, like, what a legend. And then, yeah, Heath Ledger, man. Uh, too, the Dark Knight Rises with Bane. Yeah, uh, I can't think of his name. He's Who's in a lot of Christopher Nolan movies. Oh, uh, the actor. I just talked about this hey, it was actor Bane. too. Yeah, he played Venom. Dang it! And he played <laughs> what's his name? The guy of Dunkirk. I cannot. One figure. second. We got, got our, we got our intelligence guy over here looking up everything. He um, played Mad Max, the dude in Mad Max. Yeah. He wrote. Oh I, my his lord. His name escapes Heart, me. Ha- Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Hey, Tom Hardy. Yeah, nice. Y'all beat me. Good Excellent guy. actor. One of my favorite actors. You gotta get the time up. Y'all beat Google on a low time. But Christopher Nolan just perfected Did you see? Batman. And so this new guy, uh, 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 this playing Batman. Oh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, yeah. It's just not the same. He can't live up to the same. It. And, yeah, Batman. It, so it kind of ruined it. And, so one thing, when the Avengers came out, yeah. DC Comics was like, we got to step up our game. We got to have a crossover uh, movie. So they, yeah. they pushed Justice League out the door. We only had Batman and Superman yeah, as and a background. Yeah, the rest of them came The rest in. of them out of nowhere. So I had yeah. we had no emotional connection to any yeah. of their characters, Cyborg just Batman or, and Superman. Well, they had Wonder Woman. And, and Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman One of my favorite movies. Wonder Woman was great. Yeah. It, uh, Aquaman's movie looks pretty good. 
It does. I'm not going to lie. It looks a little interesting. It looks I like they're actually going to make Aquaman cool. I hope so. He's a guy really from so. uh, 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 Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. yeah. I wish they would wait for Justice League and not push yeah, out the they needed to. Push they the need to take more notes from Marvel in that they should have seen that before Avengers, Marvel had loosely a Hulk movie that they're, I guess they're not going to reboot. They're just going to incorporate into their canon, yeah. even though whatever that is. They had an Iron Man movie. They had a Captain America movie. They had a Thor movie. So the only two people that you got introduced to in Avengers was Black Widow and Hawkeye, which really didn't need their own movie. I, w- I would have loved to see uh, the Black Widow. Black getting Widow. her own movie. She is. She is. Yeah, they. she's getting her own movie, I'm pretty sure. Is it a backstory or is it a after all this is happening? I think it's going to be a backstory I hope so. movie. Cause yeah, because I'm sure a lot of fans feel the way you do where they want to know. She had flashbacks during uh, Ultron, Age of Ultron. That well, one. yeah, and then like in Avengers, she starts out on that mission in Russia or whatever, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Where the she's, guy, kind of she's in a chair. Yeah, yeah. but um, that's Marvel's lineup, and I don't know how somehow we got on movies because Quiet Place and spoilers. Disney. Avengers we can, we can keep going. I mean, I, I mean, we can't keep going. We're kind of running out of time for this like right. first little bit. We're coming to the end of it and whatnot. We all talked about what we're doing on Thanksgiving. We got to get there. And so, how's your like uh, final test schedule going? Briefly, while we still have a little bit of time here in this first one, your test schedule getting to Thanksgiving. You're gonna be okay. You a lot make of it? a lot of my classes are project heavy. Okay. So it's it's usually just outside of class work. Yeah. And those are coming along pretty well. Yeah, that's what we tell fielding a lot when me and Robert are in here because a lot of our stuff is doing this, doing stuff outside of this, and making video projects and working on that. So you kind of have a deadline to work to fielding. You got a big test before Thanksgiving. Uh, no, they actually all got pushed after Thanksgiving. Awesome unfortunately, news. but no, it, it, I mean, terrible news. I'd rather have like one this week so okay. I can get it out of the way. Yeah. But the Monday I come back, I have a college algebra test, Ew. which is not fun. And then I have an anatomy lecture test and anatomy lab practical the same week. Yeah. Yeah, but I do have, of course, a lab quiz as we do every week. If you know, shout out AMP one. <laughs> Lab quizzes every week. Oh my lord! That, I don't want to even like. We're learning about the brain. Me. Yeah, we're learning about the brain and all the things and what they control in the brain. You know the skull. So all now the it's gotten to go yeah. deeper than the skull. Exactly. The brain. Mm-hmm. I understand. Well, that does it for. We've talked long enough for our first half of our show. So, Red Wolf Radio and ASU TV both going off on a break. Uh, the weird thing about the show, Nathan, I, I know you've watched a couple episodes of this show before you came here. Mainly just that one, but that really that's all you need. But it was iconic. Yeah, we're going to send Red Wolf Radio. they got to go to see some PSAs on Red Wolf Radio, and then they'll come back to us, and we will give them the second half of the show. But ASU TV, this is the end of your inaugural episode of us on our new set. We hope you enjoyed. Nathan, he'll be back for the next episode because we film it all at once. You know this, so you get more of Nathan. We get to hear if he has any other big plans following his uh, Thanksgiving Day plans. And we'll both be back. So I hope you uh, stay strong over the weekend and have a nice weekend, and we will be back here Monday to talk to you further. Thank you for watching today's episode of Life in the Pack. We hope you enjoyed it. There will be new episodes coming out twice a week on ASU TV, or you can tune into Red Wolf Radio to catch the full hour show at 8 p.m. Central Time on Fridays. You can also follow us on Twitter at Life in the Pack 1. That is Life in the Pack number 1. And you can send us all sorts of things we should talk about on the show or questions that you want answered on the show, and we'll try to get to them the best we can. We hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned to ASU TV for more content. Boom! That's how it's done.